weekend so far. It is a gorgeous sunny day here again. It is February 7th. The sun is shining. We got a little bit of snow last night and it looks so pretty outside. It is super cold but I do feel like maybe, fingers crossed, we might have passed that gray January feeling and I'm just hoping that spring is around the corner. I have been busy all morning just running around and doing little things all over the house. I wanted to get a head start on my week. I usually start a lot of this on Monday, but I just had this burst of energy. So I've started laundry. I've been cleaning up my mug cupboard and cleaning the kitchen counters and my stove top. And I've even cleaned my bathroom because our faucet in our master bathroom was broken. And so Glenn had to replace it this weekend and I just gave it a really good clean. So I'm feeling like I'm already ahead for the week, which is a great feeling. And I have quite a few things I wanted to share with you today. I have some finished objects in my knitting, which is very exciting. I have a couple of things I really wanna cast on and I'm thinking about, so I might pull a few options out and have a look at those. I did a big leather update on Thursday, so I'm going to share some of what I put in the shop. And I've also started a Patreon page, which I posted on Instagram and I'm very excited about. So this was the first week that I started and I will put the link below if you are interested in finding out a little bit more. Um, it's just a place that I'm really enjoying sharing a bit more of what I already do here. So I will still be here on YouTube. I will still be creating YouTube videos and vlogs and sharing whenever I can. But Patreon is just allowing me to go a little more in depth, create more content and have a really comfortable, cozy space for that. So. I'm really enjoying it and that's keeping me busy this week. And I think that's it. So I'm going to pull out my knitting and share some of the stuff that I've been doing this week and have a look at all of the new projects I really wanna cast on. Let's start with some finished objects. I have two and this was the first one that I finished. It is the Keaton hat 
by Shannon Cook, who is very Shannon on Instagram. I made one of these a couple of weeks ago in a beautiful Chelsea Lux yarns, and I loved it so much that I wanted another one for myself. So I found this skein of yarn in my stash. It is Quince & Co Puffin, and the color is Dogwood. I really love it. It was a really fun knit and super, super fast. It's also really cozy and just easy to wear. I like that it's kind of slouchy and elf-like, and I really love it. So I'm happy with this one. It is a really quick knit. It's really fun to put a hat on your needles and just have a little weekend project. It didn't take me too long to do it. I think I did about this much the first night and then maybe another night I did most of it and then the next day I just finished it off. I think it was last weekend I finished it or finished it. But it is really, really fun. I would definitely make this again and I really like chunky yarn projects. So that is my first one. I've already blocked it. It's all ready to wear. My next finished object has not been blocked. I finished it late last night and I am in love with it. My second finished object is Kate's poncho. It just got off my needles late last night. It needs to be blocked and ends woven in, but I tried it on and it is absolutely beautiful. I am so happy with this project. It has probably been on my needles for almost two years. It's terrible, but I just kept putting it away and forgetting about it for months on end. And then I would take it out, do a small section. And when I pulled it out in January, I just decided this is it. It needs to be finished. It is too beautiful to be sitting in a bag any longer. And I've just been in a mood to kind of get a few things off my needles. So I'm really happy that I focused on this one. It is Kate's Poncho and the pattern is by Nice and Knit. The yarn is also by Nice and Knit. It is their worsted weight and the color is autumn. It is so beautiful. It is one of my favorite colors and yarns that I've ever knit a project with. It's really, really pretty. And um, it does need a good block because this center panel will be even all the way down. It's just kind of bunching up at the bottom a bit. So my plan is to weave in the ends and block it today. It looks really, really good on. And I was a bit worried that it was going to be a little short on me. I'm not super tall, but I'm also not, um, I'm not petite. And so I was worried because I didn't want it to be too cropped and look too short. And I really wanted to add a bit to the length of stockinette. But as I was checking the pattern, it did say that if you wanted to add more, that you should add another or you should purchase another extra skein of yarn. And so I got a little bit nervous because I thought I will not have enough. I might have added just a half an inch to the body. And then I started the rib and I was planning on just finishing the yarn, just going, you know, going through the rib and doing as much as I possibly could uh, with the yarn that was left. And once I got to this point, I just thought it looked good and I didn't want to make the rib too long. So I think I did just a touch more. I think they call for a two inch rib and I just went a little bit longer on it. So I tried it on, it is completely long enough for me. And especially once I give it a block, I think it's going to be so cozy. I ended up wearing it while I sat on the couch and it just kept me warm. And I love, love, love this poncho. I tried on my poncho to give you a little peek at what it looks like on. Don't mind the crazy colored sweater with this, but I think it's perfect. I think it just covers enough. And once I give it a really good block, it's going to probably stretch a little more. And then this panel should lay a little flatter. I think it's beautiful. I love the fit. I think it is perfect. I am so glad that I made a modification 
to the neckline. The original pattern is beautiful. It has a big kind of flouncy neck. And I knew I would probably be wearing this in the house a lot. And a lot of times I don't like a big heavy turtleneck around me. So I saw that Katie from Nice and Knit was knitting this version with a simple mock neck. And I reached out to her and asked her how she did it. And she shared the info. I don't know if I can remember what I did. I'm going to have a look and if I can find it, I'll put it in my notes on Ravelry. But I really like the simple mock neck for me. I know just sitting around the house, it won't be too warm for me and it'll be perfect for summer nights or going for a walk in the spring down to the lake. I'm really happy with it. It has this beautiful moss stitch pattern down the front and also in the back. And then down each shoulder, it does have another little detail that I really like because it helps you to kind of make sure you've got the poncho on your shoulders properly and centered. So I'm really, really happy with this project. I'm over the moon that I finally got it off my needles and I think I'm going to go ahead and weave in the ends now or in a few minutes give it a soak so that I can start wearing it this week. I've been receiving some beautiful yarns in the mail lately and I wanted to share them with you. They are so pretty. It has been a real challenge to not cast anything on yet, but I'm trying to focus on the socks that I have on my needles before I start another pair. But let me tell you, it's really hard. First, I got these gorgeous sock kits from Chelsea Lux Yarns. Christina dyed up these beautiful colors for Valentine's Day. This one is called Galentine's Day, and I love that it comes with two minis. And the colors are so pretty in there. There's like a hot pink and purple. I love this one. And I'm totally going to be casting on socks as soon as my current pair is off the needles I'm going to be starting this one this is called knitting friends and it's soft and pretty and I love this kind of golden sunflower color for the mini I really want to cast on Valentine's Day socks with this one I don't know if I'll be done in time but I'm gonna try I received beautiful gift in the mail from my friend Amanda, who is the dyer behind Sweet Skein of Mine. She is located in Fredericton, New Brunswick, and she dyes gorgeous colorways on all different bases. If you have not seen her Etsy shop, you should totally check it out. I will put the link down below. And this colorway is called Chicken Bones, which is after a type of candy. And I think it's perfect. I think this will make a beautiful hat, maybe a beret. I love it. Thank you, Amanda. It's so pretty. Then I ordered a new sock kit from Legacy Fiber Arts because they released this new colorway and I just couldn't resist. It's called Glass Ceiling and it's their sock kit and the Steel Toes base and it comes with this beautiful mini and I can't wait to make another pair of socks with these. I normally don't buy this much sock yarn, but I just couldn't resist these colorways. So this is on my list of socks to cast on too. And I also managed to grab one of these sock kits from Shirley Bryan Yarns, who is another Canadian dyer. This is called a Deconstructed Fade Sock. And the colorway is Care Paravel. I don't know if I'm saying that right. I'm pretty sure this is a reference to um, Narnia, which is a movie I love. And I was really happy to grab one of these. These are very popular and she sells out very quickly. But I did get one and um, I really love them. I love all of these. I am so happy there are so many women talented women dyeing these beautiful yarns. I'm going to put links to all of them below if you are interested in checking any of their shops out. They're all very, very talented ladies and I love sharing 
small businesses that are run by women. While I was working on the rib of my Kate's poncho late last night, all I could think about was, what am I going to cast on next? I'm getting very excited, but I'm also trying to be really mindful of which project goes on my needles because I don't want to get ahead of myself and have too much on the go again. So I have three projects that I've been thinking a lot about lately. And the first one is a project by Pearl Soho. It is the half and half triangle wrap. I've had yarn for this for months, ever since I saw the ladies at Caddy Jack's Knits show a few on their podcast and talk about the yarn. And they're doing a knit along also. I think it was a year long knit along that would be um, wrapping up for Rhinebeck 2021, if it happens. So I got very excited. I've always loved Pearl Soho projects. They are some of my favorites, the style of them, the colors they use. And so I was really happy to purchase yarn and put this aside. And I think I'm almost ready. I've been hesitating because it's just such a large project. And I know that when I have a really big project, I kind of lose steam. I tuck it away. The poncho is an example. I actually have another Pearl Soho project that has been on my needles for years and years. And I told myself I wouldn't cast this one on until that one was done. But I don't know. I feel like this is the right one to do. And it's such a big project that it could be one that just kind of sits and I can kind of jump into it when I feel like it. I don't know. It's really tempting me. The yarn is absolutely gorgeous. It is the Pearl Soho Linen Quill. It is 50% fine highland wool and 35% alpaca, 15% linen. It's really pretty. And I'm in love with the colors I chose. I chose purple smoke and dark iris. I think they'll be perfect. And I'm pretty sure I'm getting very close to casting this one on. It's very, very pretty. Another one that I've been tempted by, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna tuck this one away again, is um, it's a shawl. It's called Pressed Flowers. And it's from Savory Knitting, designed by Amy Christoffers. It is super pretty. Let me see if I can show you a little picture of it there. But I know this one will take a lot more brain power. And I have quite a few other shawls on the needles that I think I should probably focus on first. But this one is in my queue. It's kind of sitting here in this project bag, ready to go whenever I can get to that one. I had to come back downstairs to show you my third dream knitting project. I've already tucked it all into one of my small leather tote bags. I really wanted a mustard one in the last little while. And so when I updated the shop last week with the small leather tote bags, I kept one for myself. So I have been thinking about what is my next sweater cast on? I know I finished the Felix sweater late in December and I gave myself a little bit of a breather to finish some other stuff. And I wasn't really in a rush to cast another one on, but last week I saw Tannis from Tannis Fiber Arts on Instagram. She posted the Camaro sweater. She had a beautiful photo of her wearing it. And I've already cast this on and ripped it out. Um, so I have all of the yarn, which is from Tannis Fiber Arts. I got the kit and it is so beautiful. And I just remembered why I purchased it in the first place. I think it's a perfect sweater for me. This is the body of the sweater. It's this beautiful kind of taupey color, but there's bits of yellow in it. And then there was a kit of all of these rainbow colors to do the yoke. I don't have a color photo here, but it is a beautiful sweater. It's one I've always known that I would wear and I had made a mistake and it was just not the right timing for it. So I ripped the whole thing out, but I have the needles and all of the yarn 
wound up and I think Tannis might be doing a knit along with this as well. With this sweater, but also with like old favorites, she's encouraging people to kind of look at what's in their library and what yarns they have and, you know, what sweater they always wanted to knit, but maybe didn't because just because all the new patterns keep coming out, it's wonderful, but um, it's nice to sometimes go back to our favorites. And so this was a favorite of mine and I don't want to forget about it and I don't want this yarn just sitting here. So I've got a bag set up, ready to go. I've got my pattern reprinted and um, I'm not sure, but I have a feeling that it's going to be this for my sweater and I might cast on the half and half triangle wrap. Those are gonna be my two new projects while I also work on some of my older ones here and there. And I hope that I can stay focused and um, just not tuck them away because that's been something I do. I just think I have a very short attention span and I get very excited about new colors and new projects, but I really do love the process of knitting and I also love the projects that I've chosen. So I'm making a conscious effort to um, finish when I can. And if I need a new cast on, that's fine, but um, not to totally forget about the beautiful things that I have tucked away in bags all over the house. I wanted to let you guys know that last Thursday I updated my shop with lots of colors of the small leather tote bags that are ready to ship. It's one of my favorite new things in the shop. I've actually kept three for myself now, but I like to count only the two because the first one I kept was a proto sample and it's actually a little bit smaller um, in depth because I adjusted it a little bit. But I wanted to show you how I use my small leather tote bag. I use it for three different things. Um, the first one was for a knitting project, which I shared. And uh, when I'm not using this for a sweater, I think it will be great for a scrappy blanket project. And this year I kind of want to focus on that again. So I thought it would be fun to have a really nice leather bag that I could keep like a bigger blanket in and um, just pick from the bag, grab minis whenever I want to add to it. So that's the first one. The second one I kept for myself is raspberry and I kept this one for my planner and journaling supplies because I love having a little planner tote bag, especially when the nicer weather comes. I'm going to be putting like my favorite uh, supplies in here, just a few things like a pencil pouch and um, some stickers and my Hobonichi and then I can take it in the backyard and do a little bit of journaling or I could even grab it and just head down to the lake and sit at a bench and do a little bit of journaling. So this one will be for my journaling. And the last one, which is actually the first one I kept, is my everyday carry. So I use this small tote just to carry my everyday essentials whenever I'm doing grocery pickups or running out to drop something off at someone's house or you know drive the kids to school occasionally. It's the perfect size to fit like a shawl, a knitting project bag, um, my wallet, just my everyday essentials. And it's not quite as big as the everyday tote bag, which I do also love. But right now, when I'm not really going anywhere, this one is working out a little bit better for me. So I just wanted to share the three ways that I'm using it. I have quite a few different colors in the shop right now. And I've also restocked the um, small and large cylinder pouches in so many colors and the little triangle pouches too, which I think are super handy for change or little knitting um, progress keepers and things like that. So the this, this shop has been restocked with tons of leather and I'm still working on a big batch of small project bags that will hopefully be coming in the next few weeks. I'm not quite sure exactly when, but I'm working on those next. I ran out this morning to do a curbside pickup at my local nursery. I placed an order with them a couple of days ago for a few things. Um, and the reason I was doing it is 
I actually wanted to get some little Valentine's Day plants for a couple of special ladies in my life. And I started to look around and I saw these and I couldn't resist. This one I had seen on um, their Instagram account and I don't think I've ever seen this before. So I was excited to pick this up. It's called a lipstick vine. And I'm not sure if I'm going to take it out of the hanging basket or try to find a spot to hang it, but I think it's really pretty. And then I noticed they had some ZZ plants. And so I really wanted another one of these. I love them. And I also picked up this cute little copper pot. So I need to figure out which ones of my plants need a bigger pot. I have a couple that are kind of growing out of their current pots. I did place an order for a new pot, but it's probably not gonna be here for a couple of weeks. So I'm gonna sort out my plants today and just do a bit of a tidy up before my big cleaning day on Monday. I'm just tidying up all the knitting and yarn that I pulled out this afternoon. I'm about to weave in the ends of my poncho and get it blocked and on some mats. I'm really excited about that. And it's almost 3.30, but I still have a little bit of time this afternoon. And I think I am going to sit down with my Hobonichi and catch up on the week's daily journaling pages because I am very behind this week. It was just really busy. And I'm kind of looking forward to scrolling through my photos, printing a few highlights from the week and catching up on some journaling. The rest of the night, I am just going to relax get myself ready for a new week ahead. And I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you next time.